Hi guys, today I'm talking about all the serums from Osmosis Skincare and which one you should get depending on your goals, your need and your skin type. So I'm Madeleine Cassie, I'm the owner of Sparkle Lifestyle and Beauty Spots, a medical aesthetic clinic in Moncton, New Brunswick. And the number one skincare line that we sell here is Osmosis and we always get so many questions about which one should you get depending on your needs. So this is exactly what I'm going to present. So if you know me, you know that I'm, my background is in nutrition. So I have a really holistic approach to skincare because I truly believe that your skin is a reflection of what's going on inside your body. And it's really important that you look at your skin that way. So the first ingredient that you need to look at or invest in when it comes to skincare is definitely food for your skin or your serum, your antioxidant and all that good stuff. And I'm a big believer that daytime you should first wash your face and right after that's where you would have your growth factors followed by your antioxidant. Depending on your age, your skin type, I would um, recommend um, the replenish or the catalyst from osmosis. A replenish would be perfect for people maybe the younger or if you don't really have a whole lot of damage, sun damage, aging, um, in, gener in general you're really happy with your skin or maybe you're really sensitive and you're looking for um, a bunch of good antioxidant, this is um, the product for you. So antioxidant fight free radical, they really protect your skin, it's really like good skin Good food for your skin that's why antioxidants are so important for your skin type so this would be this one and um, then we have catalyst catalyst AC 11 have vitamin C in it so if you have a lot of sun damage hyperpigmentation melasma even maybe in the past you've done a lot of laser treatment with the, the wrong skincare or not the proper skincare if you have a lot of damage I would definitely recommend the Catalyst AC11. Just be mindful that Catalyst is actually pretty dark and because it's pre-oxidized, so I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Sorry, mine is getting old. So see how dark the product is and it can almost like it look like you could stain your skin. So if you, ha if you feel like the product is not getting in your skin um, the right way, I do recommend that you're using a boost, boost or infuse. Boost if you want the pump, um, if your skin is dehydrated, and if you're more acne prone or oily, I would go for infuse. Those products will actually make catalyst last longer uh, and absorb better in your skin. So that's really important to combine it, um, the two together. So that would be in the morning, you're a good antioxidant. And then at night time, that's where I would strongly recommend um, the a vitamin A or a retinaldehyde. When you, the beauty of osmosis is definitely the quality of their vitamin A. That's what I actually picked that skincare line for. So the first one, I don't have it with me actually, it's Calm. Calm would be a really good retinaldehyde if you're more sensitive, if you're dry. Um, if you try everything in the past and nothing is working, you're really sensitive to retinol in general, I would go for Calm. Then. The step above, if you're fighting maybe melasma, hyperpigmentation, I would go for correct. And if you're more fighting anti-aging, fine line, I would go for renew. But if you're really sensitive, make sure that you start with calm and then go to correct and then renew. Um, there's seriously, it's just like stronger vitamin A. There's no, don't you don't need to jump right away to renew. Take your time. So that would be my recommendation there. If you're more acne prone or oily, uh, if you're fighting um, breakouts, I would definitely recommend uh, Clarify. Clarify is a really detox uh, vitamin A. I love it for my acne prone skin and if fighting acne. Another good one for acne prone skin is definitely Rescue. Rescue is an epidermal repair. So if you have a lot of um, redness, inflammation, or you just want to rebuild your epiderm, I definitely recommend Rescue. So I would say that their number one product that we sell in the osmosis skincare is definitely Rescue. So I think everybody should benefit from Rescue depending on any skin type. You concern I would go with rescue and then I would make sure that you choose one 
one of the two of the antioxidant and then pick a vitamin A. That's really what uh, will change your skin forever. When you have those three serum, that's when I would look into stem factor. Stem factor is a growth factor. So now that your skin are well nourished and your you know you speed up your skin cell turnover with your retin uh, your retinaldehyde, um, then you want more uh, skin cells. So that's where stem factor come in place. All the other serum, there's no problem mixing the two together, and they absorb all well. This one here, I would make sure to wait 10 minutes. So I would wash my face, then I would apply the product, then wait 10 minutes, then you can absorb, use the other product on top of it, no problem. Then you can use your moisturizer or sun protection. So I hope this helped you understand a little bit better which serum is good for you. If you have any questions, reach out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.